All right, we're back, and today we're going to continue looking at some of the physics that's involved in martial arts. We're going to pick up where our last lesson left off. Now, in our last lesson, we were looking at something called the ground reaction force, and today we're going to use some of the concepts that we introduced you to in that lesson to better understand how our stance provides stability for us. So I'm going to have Justin get into a horse stance. Why don't you take a, a little step forward here? Now, a concept you're probably already familiar with if I apply force in this direction, in the direction that's in line with both of his legs, so if I draw a line from foot to foot and I apply force along that line, this is the line along which he has greatest stability. So if I push or I pull, this is the direction in which he's best able to maintain his structure. Now if I apply a force perpendicular to that, this, of course, is the line along which he's least able to maintain a stable posture. So now, as I said, most martial artists are familiar with this principle. They understand how it works and they integrate knowledge of it in their training. Today we're not so much interested in the how as we are the why. We're going to try to look at and explore some of the science behind it to better understand why all, the, all this works the way it does. So what I'm going to do now is the answer actually lies in just looking at a stick figure. This is a pretty straightforward lesson and what you'd see by looking at this figure is that the legs of course are the structural support system for all of the upper body. All the mass above this line is being supported by the legs. So the legs are delivering force that provides stability for the body. Now the question is what direction are the legs delivering force? Well, the answer is simple. Each leg delivers force in a direction that's in line with that particular leg. So that means our right leg has both a horizontal and a vertical component. Now, if you've seen our lesson on the ground reaction force, this horizontal component is the force of friction and the vertical component is something called the uh, normal force, or the perpendicular reaction force. It's not important that you understand what each of these components is to understand today's lesson. Uh, what is important is to understand that there is a horizontal component and a vertical component and that the right leg and left leg, of course, this is a, again an obvious statement, the, the right leg and the left leg deliver a horizontal force opposite of each other. So, I'm going to have Justin come back out here. This is pretty easy to prove. If I have Justin get into a horse stance and now I apply force in a horizontal direction along that line which we already introduced you to, if I apply force in this direction, what leg then is the, the structural support that provides stability, that allows him to maintain his posture uh, in spite of this applied force? Well, if we look at our diagrams, it would of course be the right leg. Now, if I apply force on Justin, Justin, what leg do you feel the force being transferred into? My right leg. And if we reverse that, of course, you feel it in your left leg, correct? Simple concept. Now, let's go beyond that. Why is it then that it's this direction in which he has greatest stability, but this direction in which he has least? Well, it comes down to understanding these diagrams. See, they're two-dimensional in nature. That means his legs are able to deliver force essentially in one particular plane. So when I apply a force perpendicular to that plane, when I apply a force in an alternate plane, his legs aren't able to provide a reaction force that allows him to maintain his structure. And that's why he has least stability when it comes to absorbing force in this particular direction. So what are the implications of this? Well, there, there are many. We're just going to highlight a couple. Of course, in order to effectively deliver a blow, I need to have a stable structure. This is an obvious statement. If I'm standing on skates or even in a neutral position, I hit him, I'm going to be knocking myself backwards. The impact force is going to be significantly less than if I have a stable structure. You should be aware of that already with some of our previous lessons. So then, if we want to have the most stable structure possible, if this is the least stable position and this is the most, does that mean then that we want to assume this particular fighting posture? Well, although this provides us with greatest stability, it certainly limits our ability to use all of our weapons effectively. 
So the answer then lies somewhere in between. And there's many different stances, but again, you're going to find a balance between these two particular postures, and that particular stance then allows you to have stability while effectively using all of your weapons. One other implication I want to highlight to wrap things up is not only in understanding that this, this particular line, uh, face the camera again please, face these guys, this particular line of action provides greatest stability, it also provides greatest mobility. Why is that? The legs are able to deliver force in a way that um, allows him to maintain his structure. Well, in the same way that his legs allow him to do that, that's the direction they deliver force, which means that's the direction in which he has the greatest explosiveness in his movements, the greatest acceleration. So, what's the implication? Well, it's simple. If Justin's charging at me, for instance, and I need to move as quickly as possible to get out of the way, I want to move in a direction that is along that line. So if he charges, I might move out of the way and then counterattack. All right, I think that wraps up this lesson again. Uh, continue to explore this and, and all of our other lessons because there's many implications that you can get out of these basic principles that we're sharing with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip and we'll see you soon.